Hello, my name is Dylan Chapman. I'm a game design major, and my sub project, the Counterbalance Upgrading System, is a new upgrading system for the tower defense genre. I wanted to get into game design after realizing how much video games had helped me escape from reality all throughout my life, and I want to be able to bring games like that to the future generations. Growing up, I didn't have the best experience in school, so I would play games to keep my mind away from other issues that were going on around me. And when I was in school or away from home, there weren't any consoles for me to play, so I was just playing tower defense games on my phone. They were one of my favorite genres of game, but I would hate going back and replaying old levels because they felt boring. A tower defense game normally has the player in a top-down or angled camera, placing down towers that will automatically shoot at enemies that are trying to travel either a set path or one of your making. The goal of the enemies is to either escape the other end of the path, or make it to some form of base of yours where if they do, you will lose health. The games usually have a currency system to them that allows the player to place down towers for a set price, upgrade those towers using that currency, and the upgrades usually have tiers of how good they are, and the higher the tier, the better the upgrade is for the tower. This can lead to a boring, repetitive game where going back and doing old levels will result in the player just being able to put down the same tower in the same spot, upgrade it at the exact same time, and get the exact same result. My tip is to give the player an upgrading system that will lead to them having to strategize on the fly and increase replayability for these levels. The idea behind the tip is what if the upgrades for your towers cost you nothing unless you wanted them to? The currency is still in place but only for placing down towers, but now for upgrading towers it costs you one or two things. The first option the player has when wanting to upgrade the tower is a loss of health. The numbers for this can change depending on how much max health the player has, but it you want it to be proportionate so that it should still be pretty painful loss if they would choose this. The second option is you get to do it for free, but doing so will give the most recently spawned enemy a buff. The buffs are separated into different tiers that correspond to the power of the upgrade that the tower is receiving. The first upgrade for a tower would pull from tier 1, the second from tier 2, and so on. The part where the on-the-fly strategy comes in is where the buff would be picked at random from that tier. The player would have access to the list of tiers and what buffs are in them before the level starts so that they would know what options the enemies could get from the tiers, but they wouldn't know what specific buff the enemy is getting until they already have it. And now, let's move on to the prototype. So here we have the prototype. I used a template for some of the content that is called TD template followed by desktop slash mobile in parentheses. I want to say thank you to two of my friends, Chance Sweeney and Devin Garrett, for helping me with the programming of my SIP. If I start it up, you can see that the UI is set for the player with the health in the top left, money in the top right, the towers in the bottom left, and the control buttons in the bottom right. If I pause the game, the player can see what path the enemy units are going to take. First off, I'm going to spawn in a basic control tower on the left to shoot the enemies, and then an upgrade tower on the right. If you notice on the upgrade menu, the tower has two options, the buff and the health loss. If I do the health cost, the player loses the set amount of health. Now I'm going to resume it to show some of the buffs in action. Now that buff is a health increase. The blue on the unit is supposed to give a sort of shield look for the player, and all it did was buff the unit's health. Now that buff, as you can see, is a flat speed increase. The target gained a small purple glow to them, and they took off moving faster towards the objective. Those are just some of the types of buffs that an enemy unit could receive. Other ideas developers could put into their games are things such as a stronger enemy unit that takes more health from the player, a faster speed boost but it isn't permanent just to quickly get you out of the tower's range, or a form swap, ground to air, air to ground. This one works especially well if you have towers that can only shoot certain types of enemies, ground units versus air units. The form swap one is a good one to talk about the player having to change their strategy on the fly. If the player has only spawned in anti-ground towers and no anti-air towers, but the enemy gets a form swap to an air unit, the player is either going to have to quickly place down a new tower that can deal with the unit, or if they don't have enough money, they are going to have to decide if it is worth it to sell a tower to place down an anti-air, or just take the damage from the unit. My name is Dylan Chapman, and this has been the Counterbalance Upgrading System. Thank you for taking your time to watch this, and I hope you have a wonderful day.